Hi guys, welcome to the Cluster Girl. Again, I have my very special guest, Sierra, with me. She did the buddy read with me for Room, and now we've watched the movie adaption um, together. This one cool thing about this was that Emma Donahue, the author of Room, actually also wrote the script. Weren't you the one who told me that? No. I thought she, she wrote the screenplay, I think. I had no idea about that. Oh, uh, I thought you were the one who told me. Well, what <laughs> I don't know if you remember about Vicky Rowling. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you and your Harry Potter obsession. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of unhealthy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, this, as you can see at the top, was nominated for four Academy Awards, which were Best Picture, Best Actress, um, Best Director, and Best Adaption Screenplay. Um, and then it also, it actually did win the Golden Globe Best Actress for the mom, which was Brie Larson, played the mom in this. Um, I know for this, when I watched this, I literally, it was hard for me to necessarily, although there were a lot of differences, from the book to the movie. I guess it was so smoothly and connected to the similarities somehow, I'd say. It was almost hard to decipher, wait, no, that didn't happen. Right. Which is, which I find is kind of hard for books, for movies to do. Definitely. I really tried to look at it in the perspective of it being like, Am I understanding what's happening with this, with the story that they're presenting without uh -huh. me reading the book? And I truly feel that, that they met mm -hmm. that standard. I, I mean, I feel the differences in this from the book are so, so minute, minute mm -hmm. um, that it really doesn't matter. Sure. Um, and I felt with the casting of this movie, it was perfect. Right? The only thing that I felt was a tad off, and this is just, I don't even know if in the book that they said this, but this is who I got in mind. When they were talking about her mom, uh -huh. I had imagined Mrs. Claus, like a fat short Yes. Thing. Especially because you know that what had happened with her daughter that she had been stressed and naturally people gain weight and stuff so that's honestly what I imagined and she she played her mom so well but um, it wasn't quite that that I had expected so I was kind of nugget, really having really? to tell myself <laughs> sorry Nugget's right beside us and she just decided not to speak her toy <laughs> it was like almost that kind of threw me off for a minute, but I had to remember that was my own decision in my head. That wasn't even the book. Right. And then from there, she played it on her. Mm -hmm. so. And then I love too how in this movie they made sure with the fact that, you know, Jack and Ma are in there for five years, his first five years of life, that Jack's hair is freaking long. Exactly. You know, because there's no way. Unless mom's going to do it, that he's getting a haircut. Right. And I don't think once they showed scissors in that room. Mm-mm. And so, I mean, and then it was, you know, kind of big in this movie when he cut his hair. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget the line, I want to send mom my strong. I, don't, I literally... <laughs> okay, this movie, the book, I remember tearing up throughout it, but that part, I was just like, <gasps> tears <laughs> falling. Like, I couldn't even control them. It was just coming yeah. down. And then one of the big differences that I found was Seamus. Seamus. Oh, yeah. The dog. The dog. Because that in the book. was amazing. Right? In the book, Seamus never existed. Mm-hmm. Never ever existed. Do I wish he existed in the book? Hell yes. Hell yes. Because then we get the, you know, oh my god, it's a dog. Finally. Is it lucky? Yeah. You know, I could just see him more like, 
Oh my gosh, they got me lucky. Yay, 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 yay. Even though when you kept describing lucky, I kept thinking a lab. I didn't even have a specific kind of dog. My whole thing is that I felt like that that is such a natural thing for a kid to want to pet. Mm -hmm. And him, like, it's just funny that no matter what his mom told him, naturally in his brain it didn't matter. He wanted a dog, right? Because whether he saw that on TV and didn't know whether kids or not, that's a normal occurrence mm -hmm. for children to get pets and family pets and stuff. Right. And that's something his heart desired so big and they really focused on that in this movie. His dog Lucky, that was his imaginary dog, but his dog. Right, and then I loved that scene too, where Step Steppa, as he's referred to in the book, yeah. and Seamus and Jack go on that walk. And I'm like, oh, he gets to walk a dog finally. Right. Like, I am 23 years old, and I still love every time I have to walk a dog. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like, I still love walking nuggets to pieces, but you get that new dog that's not yours. Mm -hmm. You're like, yes. Um, And then... I loved the, you know, that you could really feel the love and the connection. Not just between Jack and Grandma, but still Grandma and Mom. Mm -hmm. Because, and you still saw that although, you know, yes, Ma is now an adult. Yes, she has a kid to take care of. She's still very much, you can see in this movie because of this amazing acting, that she still very much wants to go back to that 17 year old self that she was when she left. Exactly. You know, especially in that scene where she goes, Stop telling me how to raise my kid! Yeah. I mean, overall, a great movie, movie adaption. Very much so. You know what it is. She's like <laughs> shoving my legs around. <laughs> like, stop pushing me around, dog. Pick it up, girl. Um, our, our main goal of this movie <laughs> was to just review room, but I think we've summed up two movies. We kind of compared it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Um. <laughs> I think it was just hard for us not to talk about this movie without comparing. Yeah. So I think this is more going to be, although this will be posted on the week that you all know will be for a movie, it's going to be the comparison. Okay. And then I'll, I'll figure out something else to be on the comparison. We're going to rearrange a bit. So we just both reviewed the movie. And compare the movie to the book in one movie. A two for one. Two for two. One for one. It's, it's a all. deal. Right. Go, go. <laughs> but we'll get one. <laughs> <laughs> that shoes. Well. Okay. So, again, this is for the <laughs> book slash movie of Room by Emma Donahue. Um, a Glo Golden Globe Best <coughs> Actress Sorry. winner. Nominated for four Academy Awards. Um, and if you are if you like this movie, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, links down below are for the usual Facebook, Goodreads, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. The list goes on. All the things. All the things. I have a lot. Um, so if you like, you know, if you're interested in also watching this movie, I got this out of Wally World. Um, I'm sure they have it at Target. You know, it's really anywhere. It was, um, more of an indie done. Like an indie movie at first. But it got so many good responses that it was in theaters. Um, and I definitely think y'all should watch it. Alright guys, that's all we have for you. So, stay clustered.